Hey there everyone, welcome to another review. So at www.bagsgonerogue.com sent me one of their backpacks to review. They let me choose from their inventory which was a tough decision to make. I ended up choosing their adventurer backpack over their anti-theft backpack. So their backpacks do carry quite a hefty price tag but they offer free worldwide shipping and I also have a code for you guys. You can use GH tag 20 to take 20% off your purchase. The link to the website and this particular backpack is below in the description so if you want to go ahead and check it out just head down to the description. Alright so with that out of the way let's get right to it. The branding here reads Mark Ryden that is nicely stitched up in the center. The backpack's Oxford cloth feels like canvas to me. It has a nice rough texture that is rugged but not too stiff. The backpack is water resistant so your item should be well secure under light rain and it should be okay if you or someone accidentally spills some drink on it. Down here the backpack has a very subtle reflecting strip so you can be seen at night so that's a nice additional safety feature. Looking at the back of the backpack it has breathable padding that rests comfortably on my back and it doesn't get sweaty. I would have liked to see thicker padding on the bottom where the laptop goes as well as getting it to cover the bottom entirely because there are small gaps where there is no padding. And that's just a little thing I noticed. The shoulder straps are also using breathable padding. It has been comfortable with the 14 pounds that I have been carrying and it has also been comfortable when I loaded up with 18 pounds for the few times that I need to take my books to school, you know those heavy textbooks. So the chest straps helps with the load that you're lugging around. You can adjust the height of where you want it to be and this fits a variety of size of chest. This fits really comfortably and it's not very tight so you can adjust it to your liking. So that's great to see on this backpack. I really dig this feature. Now each shoulder strap has two card slots, one without a zipper and the other with a zipper. I wouldn't recommend using the slot without a zipper for your credit card as your card may fall out. I would suggest using it for your business cards. The one with the zipper is safer to store your credit card in and I would recommend using that one if you really want to have some quick access to your credit card but I just use it for my work ID. On the right side here is somewhat of a hidden pocket where you can store your wallet if you want. It's not reachable for me without having to remove one of my shoulder straps. Also depending on what you have inside the backpack the space here may be reduced. The handle strap is made out of canvas and doesn't have any padding which is fine but it would have been nice to see a little bit of padding on it just so it can make it more comfortable to carry around. The backpack only has one water bottle pouch on the side and it fits a regular 16.9 fluid ounce water bottle in there. There's still a bit of wiggle room left so you can maybe squeeze in something a little bit larger than that. Moving right along, the backpack has a USB type A port sticking out on the side here where you can plug in your phone to charge. There's a cable inside that you can plug into your power bank that you'll keep inside the backpack so that's a cool feature. Now looking at the front of the backpack you will find a zipper pocket on the lid here that is small and good enough for storing flash drives, SD card and short cables. So just little things. Moving down here is another small zipper pocket that has a width long enough to put pants or pencils inside there. And that's what I would be using it for. The pocket above here is very big. It's big enough to put a 1.5 inch binder in there and even big enough to put a 13.5 inch laptop in there and even my 15.6 inch Spectre fits in there. So yeah, it's a huge pocket. But there's no padding on there so I won't keep my laptop in that pocket. Using a sleeve with cushion would be advised if you want to go that route. Inside this pocket there's also a hook you can attach to your keys which would have been better if it had the quick release part for attaching and detaching quickly. Now moving to the main compartment, there's a cable in there to use with your power bank. It's difficult to show you because it's dark in there but there are two thin pockets that can fit small items and one pen or pencil holder right in between them. Then the laptop sleeve is right below here and right below that is a zipper pocket that is big enough to put an iPad in there but it's difficult to show you from this view so I'll just put a picture in here so you can get a better idea. So a cool feature about this backpack is that you can change the size from a 25 liter capacity up to a 40 liter capacity so that is awesome. I haven't had the need to use it in the 40 liter capacity yet but later on I might. So this is great for those who like going on trips and need an elegant backpack that can hold a change of clothing along with your tech. Alright so that does it for the overview of the backpack. Now we'll fill it up with what I carry with me on my daily commute which consists of work and school. This here is my most used pens and mechanical pencil. I like to carry them in the very front pocket here. I also carry an eraser and a power brick as well. Now moving on, on the big pocket here, I keep my HP Spectre's charger that is big and I also keep my Surface Pro charger in there. And I also keep my scientific calculator for exams. Carrying over to the top here, I like to carry my flash drives, SD cards, a SD card to USB Type-C converter and my Surface pen tips. 
I also carry my Bluetooth earphones in here without a case and from time to time I throw in a pack of gum in there. Now moving on to the main compartment, I like to keep my long charging and data transfer cables in the zipper pocket inside here. You can't really see it but I'll give you a picture of where it's going to be in there. So it's just down here. On the top left pocket of the interior I keep my power bank in there and the right pocket is a perfect size to keep my Microsoft Arc mouse and that's where I keep it. I like to keep my Surface Pen and HP Spectre in the single pen holder that is wide enough to fit both of them at the same time up here in the center. Now just slide in my HP Spectre 15.6 inch laptop that fits snugly in there. It doesn't feel like anything bigger than this will fit unless you have a super thin bezel-less 17 inch laptop then maybe just maybe it will fit. Then up next is my Surface Pro 4. It does fit in the zipper pocket vertically, but it doesn't close. But I just keep it out there. Now to finish it off, I will put my one and a half inch binder and I can still put in other books in here, but I'm just gonna keep it like this because this is basically what I carry on my day-to-day -day usage. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna leave it like this uh, so you guys can get an idea of what I carry. Oh, I almost forgot about the hidden side pocket. I just threw in my extra quadruple batteries for my Surface Pen and I also put my backup wire earphones for when I need to put my Bluetooth earphones to charge. So now that does it. So I have been using this backpack for about a week now and it has been serving me well for school. This has plenty of pockets to organize all my items and the cool feature of increasing the carrying capacity is awesome. But this feature also kind of makes it difficult to slide in and slide out my laptop fast because it's very narrow and the opening is somewhat long. So I have to use both of my hands to get my laptop out. So it's just a tiny thing that I thought is worth mentioning. Alright, so this concludes my review and thank you all for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you on my next one.